Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Rosell and this channel focuses on life on the ground in Jerusalem and Israel. Like most other people in the country, I've probably spent more time watching the news since the war broke out than I did in several years before that point. For that reason, I thought I'd put together this quick guide to some of the main television channels in Israel that are broadcasting news journalism. We'll look today at what I call the big four Hebrew language Israeli channels and then look at the one option that's available in English. Let's start with Arutz Chadisrei, which means Channel 11 in English. While the channel designations are assigned for those who still have cable TV subscriptions, all of these channels also broadcast online in Israel as live video streams. Arutz Chadisrei is better known as Khan, which means here in English. Khan, however, is actually just a brand name, and the official name of the station is the Israel Public Broadcasting Corporation, or IPBC. But that doesn't really roll off the tongue and sounds kind of bureaucratic, so Can is how the channel brands itself these days. The IPBC was in turn an updated name on the organization's former official name, which was the Israel Broadcasting Authority, or IBA. The name change happened in 2017, and the Can Broadcasting brand name was introduced simultaneously. As the official name suggests, Can is Israel's state broadcaster. Being a state broadcaster brings with it advantages and disadvantages. The major advantage is that Can is a well-established and well-regarded media organization within Israel. The disadvantage is that being part of the government, it's easy to attack it as being nothing more than a government mouthpiece. From personal observation, however, I would say that this charge lacks substance. Can's coverage frequently includes perspectives that are critical of the sitting government and the prime minister. Even the IDF, which enjoys a unique stature in Israeli society, isn't immune from its criticism. Khan once published an expose showing how many IDF bases in the south of the country were inadequately guarded. IPBC is part of the European Broadcasting Union, or EBU, which is why Israel is able to participate in the Eurovision Song Contest. In 2018, Khan launched a channel which broadcasts in 4K resolution. Its channel assignment domestically is 511. In addition to its main channel, Khan Echadisrei, Khan has a couple of offshoot channels, including an Arabic language channel called Makan and an educational channel for children called Khan Educational. Khan also produces a popular YouTube channel called Khan Digital, which produces its own independent selection of video content. Channel 12 is one of two very similar channels in Israel that are left of centre to centrist in terms of their political orientation. I've been asking Israeli friends all week what the real substantive differences are between channels 12 and 13. The closest thing I've gotten to an answer so far is that channel 12 is perceived by some as being a bit more to the left than channel 13, but everybody I've spoken to agrees that overall they're pretty close. Channel 12 is also called Keshet in Hebrew, which means rainbow, and is operated by the Keshet Media Group, which also operates the popular Israeli news website mako.co.il. The other major news station in the centrist block is Arutz Shalosh Israel. Arutz Shalosh Israel, 13, and Arutz Shtem Israel were both spun out of the same parent entity in 2017, which is the now defunct Channel 2. In the six years since the spin off, they haven't really distinguished themselves majorly from Channel 12 from an editorial standpoint, but they have subsumed another spin off of Channel 2, Channel 10, which is now defunct. As you can see, trying to keep track of television stations in Israel is a little bit like trying to keep track of political alliances in the Knesset. A channel that's much easier to distinguish in terms of its editorial bend is Channel 14. Unlike Channel 12 and Channel 13, Channel 14 has a clear and unapologetic political bend. Its right-leaning and tends to be a favourite among supporters of the current Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Channel 14 features a mix of news programming and some religious programming as well. Finally, we have I-24 News, which, unlike the traditional stations mentioned above, isn't distributed over cable in Israel, but rather through online internet streams. I-24 News broadcasts three feeds in French, English and Arabic. The station was launched in 2013 and is owned by Patrick Drahi, an Israeli billionaire. I-24's programming includes a weekly look into security affairs in Israel, a weekly news broadcast in Spanish and hourly live news updates. In addition to the Big Four and I-24, there are other news stations in Israel, but these are the news stations that the majority of Israelis tune into to get their news updates. If you want to get more videos from me, then please consider liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel.